I'm Rob Ladd. Thanks for tuning in for this edition of the Cavalier Sports Report. Two weeks after losing back-to-back -back games, the ladies' softball team has rattled off 12 straight wins, including nine shutouts, and are outscoring their opponents 84-5 during the stretch. I'm joined now by head coach Kelly Latondres. Coach Latondres, thanks for joining us this morning. No problem. Uh, we'll start off kind of where we left off last week. Uh, you were getting ready to head off and play Kansas City, Kansas Community College just a couple hours after we finished our interview, and uh, I think the games went pretty good for you guys. Yeah, they did. Um, we ended up pulling out both games against KCK and were able to um, capture a conference title and the number one seed for the regional tournament that started this past weekend. So. So you, you clinched the conference title, but then you've still got games to play. How do you keep your team focused when you know that you've pretty much wrapped up the regular season, but there are still games to play? Right. Well, after um, conference was over, we went ahead and did schedule another set of games in there. We played Maple Woods last Wednesday um, and then played on Saturday against Independence for the first round of the region. The problem comes now in that we have this whole week, we don't play again until Friday. So we have to, today we have a day off, and then the rest of the week we have to come to practice and make sure that we're focused. And, and that's been the biggest issue for the girls this year is they're very talented, and they can play softball with anybody. The problem that they have is their intensity and their drive every day when they come out needs to be at a high level, and sometimes it's not. And as a matter of fact, it wasn't quite there this past weekend. Now we pulled two wins out against Indy. They didn't quite look like I thought they should, but, um, you know, they played – softball like they should but their intensity and their their drive every day has to be there and that's something that we can work on in practice because if they can have that in practice they should be able to have it in games and you got good performances really out of both pitchers against indy but the game before that you were without one of your two pitchers and right. lacy she was off on a recruiting visit so talk a little about lena Kays and and how her day went um well lena's been at number two in the rotation all year long and within the last couple of weeks here, we've tried to use Lena first in games um, because as we go into the postseason, you know, it, it always comes down to one pitcher. It seems like when you get to the end and, you know, we want to save Lacey um, for as many innings as we can. Um, and so we've been trying to use Lena first. We did that the weekend uh, prior and, and it worked out well. Um, and we have a lot of confidence in Lena. Um, she struggled here in the last few weeks, you know, finishing some games, um, and Lacey's had to come in and kind of wrap things up. And so against KCK, she threw one of the games and did fine. Um, her game was the five-inning game. And then against Maple Woods, Lacey was gone. Um, she had that visit scheduled for a couple weeks, and Maple Woods was a reschedule. And so it just fell on a day that Lacey wasn't going to be there, and it was going to be all up to Lena, um, which really wasn't a bad situation for us to end up in. Um, because Lena needed kind of that pressure situation, I think, going into regionals and going into nationals. Um, I had 100% confidence in Lena that she could come out and throw those two games and not have a problem. The issue that we needed to clear up was for Lena to have that kind of confidence in Lena. And I think that she got that after the Maple Woods games because she threw two really great games. Yeah, I see that. She gave up two hits in each game, a 6-0 win in the first one, 10-1 in the second game. So obviously getting a, a good performance out of both pitchers this season. But let's talk a little bit about defense. I mean, even when teams are hitting off your pitchers, they're, they're rarely getting on base. Right, right. Um, when we, with each pitcher, the defense kind of has to play a little different. Lacey's a little bit more dominant than Lena. She throws a little bit harder. So you're going to see a few more strikeouts with Lacey. Ball's not going to get hit quite as much with Lacey. Um, the defense still has to stay ready. With Lena, she pitches um, to make hitters get themselves out. So basically, Lena looks not to strike a ton of people out. She wants fly balls. She wants routine ground balls. And so the defense sees a lot more action against Lena, um, a lot more opportunities to make errors. Um, but... You know, we just have to stay focused and they have to expect every ball to come to them and be ready to make their plays. Um, we've had a few more errors in the last few weeks than we had when we started out. Um, but And those are things that we just work on cleaning up at practice this week. 
Yeah, what is, uh, what's practice going to be like this week? You mentioned that you have kind of the extended layoff before the, uh, the next round of the postseason starts for you guys. What are your practice plans? Um, Tuesday and Wednesday probably be a little bit harder practice. Um, we're going to work on defense quite a bit, I think, this week um, because we have had a few more errors in games that we shouldn't have. Um, so we'll work on cleaning up those things. We're going to work on a lot of that intensity factor, um, the adjustment that they need to make. They have to come out into every game and they have to be confident and they have to have fun with it. And like I said, independence was kind of a weird situation on Saturday. The weather didn't allow us to play on our home field. Um, it was supposed to be a home field game. So I ended up having to move it to another complex here in Kansas City. Um, so that was a early morning change that the girls weren't expecting. So that kind of threw it off a little bit. Um, but they need to come out with the excitement that allows them to play their best ball. And, and that's something that we'll work hard on this week is making sure that they come out to practices and have the intensity and, and have that excitement. And more than anything, we've told them, you know, just enjoy being in the postseason because a lot of teams don't get to be here, um, and they're fortunate in that. And so now's not the time to be overly serious, um, you know, or, or having a lack of confidence that won't allow you to enjoy um, the postseason and, and enjoy the successes that, that they're going to experience. Well, it doesn't look like you guys have really been hindered by any kind of injuries or something. So how do you feel the, uh, the state of your lineup looks right now as you head into the postseason? What, what's your outlook? Um, we look pretty good going in. Um, the nice thing is, is, you know, as a coach, you, you coach your kids through the season and you always worry that they peak too soon, that they play their best ball too soon. And I don't think we've done that yet. Um, we played really good softball right out of the gate when we went down to Florida and early in the season. And we've played some really good games um, throughout, but we've also had off days. So we haven't played consistently strong you know, for a while. So I don't think they've played their best ball yet. And we have some kids who haven't been hitting and are starting to turn it around. And so we see people kind of, we've got more and more kids getting into the 300s and the batting averages. And, and like Lena, for example, picking up, you know, her side of the pitching rotation and all these good things slowly starting to happen. Um, and so I see things getting better and better as we go into nationals. Good deal. I know you're looking forward to uh, getting the playoffs underway. So thanks for being with us this no morning. We'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on you guys and see how you uh, wrap up the season. Okay. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the Cavalier Sports Report. For Coach Kelly Latondres, I'm Rob Ladd. We'll see you next time.